Since the beginning of time, people only want, always want to do as least work as possible to get the most reward possible. That's why AFK comes in to hype the Skyblock as a way for you to passively gain a bunch of income while you do whatever the hell you want to do and requires almost zero effort. So that's why in today's video, I'm going to be going over the best items you can use to AFK to make the most money. When doing a specific AFK, which items make the most money, you'll find out in today's video if you stay, stay tuned to the end. I'm doing a giveaway for 5 million coins, comment your IGN, and if we get 350 likes, I'll roll it. You must be subscribed, I'm only pulling people who are subscribed from my subscriber list, so you must be subscribed. So what is AFKing in the sense of high pixel Skyblock and what I'm actually going to be talking about? AFKing in this sense is where you are AFK killing, or AFK doing something, you're away from your keyboard, whether that be going to school, putting your time in prison, you know, whatever the hell it is, you're AFK, you're not at your computer, and you're passively gaining coins or items or something of value. In this case, it's both coins and items. However, how do we do this? Most ways are going to be through killing mobs while you are passively AFK, and to do this the, efficiently, there is two armor sets in one pet that I'm going to be comparing all of them to tell you what's the best. First off, what mobs are we going to be AFK? This is one of the best mobs to AFK, period. It's very consistent. Very occasionally there'll be items that are better, but goblins are one of the best mobs to AFK for two reasons. A, they are super easy or for a bunch of reasons. They're super easy to kill, they have 800 health, most things that are passively hit to deal more than Andrew damage. And they also have a chance to drop three unique drops. They have a chance to drop goblin leggings or goblin armor, goblin eggs, or coin pouches. Coin pouches give you around five to ten thousand coins. Goblin eggs sell at Bazaar for around five thousand coins per, and goblin armor sells on AH for around three to five thousand coins per. So there's a bunch of different drops you want to do. They also spawn a multitude, which is super super nice. So what armor sets and items do we need to actually get in order to do this correctly? Now there's three things you can do. You can either use unstable, bow, or frozen blaze. Unstable is by far the cheapest and the worst, it costs you around 500k, but still decent. Frozen Blaze is by far the most expensive, costing around 45 million coins, but it is the best. And Battle Pet, which is the only pet that really AFK kills, there's Snowman and other ones, but Battle is the best, costs you around 5 million coins, and is super super good. So how do all these work? Unstable will strike enemies every like 30 seconds-ish for a bunch of damage, so it takes a while for it to as he hits so if you're doing afking with other people it's not always the best because it won't proc as much it won't actually have, like hit as much but it's still the cheapest next we have battle pet i can just equip you to show this basically speaking all it does is if you're in combat it'll shut out like fire rays that deal damage and kill just like that and you get coins from killing so we have run over how the battle pet and the unstable armor works how does the frozen blaze armor works it hit mobs in an area range for damage, it's consistent damage, it deals a bunch of damage, it's like 3% damage or some other stuff, but super super good, and overall it's just a very good armor set, but it's also very expensive. So now, what are the benefits of each? Benefit of unstable and bow, they're by far cheaper, however the disadvantage is they're not consistently striking, they're only striking every 5 seconds or 30 seconds. Frozen Blaze is by far the most expensive, however it is consistently striking, it is striking every single second, it's not enough to kill them, but in three seconds, you'll be able to kill every single mob in the area, so it kills more consistently than all the rest. For this test, I'm using Daedal's Axe for the unique ability. It gives coins for kills, 35. You can use the Raider's Axe if you want to. You'll be making less money, but it's by far the more reliable option, as Daedal's Axe costs you 62 million coins, and Raider's Axe costs you around 100k. So first, let's get into Unstable Armor, and I'm going to AFK this for 10 minutes in a lobby with one other person to prove it's realistic. Because odds are, in most lobbies, you're never going to be solo. Even if you start out as lobby solo, someone's going to come and bunk with you because it's better than nothing. Most lobbies I've seen usually have two people in them. Let's check to see what, how much this lobby has. Yeah, this lobby's got two people. So most lobbies will have one or two people. So choosing a lobby with one person who's not that good, doesn't have the best gear, can maybe be the best option. So I'm going to be comparing this all with one other person AFKing with me. The first unstable armor, I'm going to be AFKing for 10 minutes and we'll see how much it makes. Alright, so I recorded this uh, in the past. I did the test in the past. However... From 10 minutes of AFK, I was able to make 120,000 coins. Around half of this came from actual, like, coins itself, just like pure coins. This is actually super, super good. It's not that bad. Because it's able to make 120,000 coins every time, this means it's able to make 720,000 coins per hour on average. Now, it does depend a little bit on luck, coin, pa coin purses, goblin eggs, all that stuff. But you can pretty consistently make the 720,000 coins every single hour. So let's go on to the next one. I'm going to be comparing now the Bal pet. 
Battle Pet, I'm going to be pairing this up with like normal armor, nothing else. Just comparing Battle Pet. So I'm going to AFK Battle Pet for 10 minutes and we'll see how much it makes. Alright, so after 10 minutes of AFKing the Battle Pet, here is what we got. We got 160,000 coins. Around 80,000 of this was actual like coins. And then we got like about a stack of goblin eggs and some goblin armor as well. But we got around 180,000, or 100, sorry, 160,000 coins with this, which is super, super good. It costs you 5 million coins, so it's more expensive than Unstable, but it's more consistent and it's better. So it is, it's better than Unstable. No questions asked, in my opinion. It's more reliable, it strikes faster. Battle Pet is such a good pet. So, so far, Unstable is coming in at last. Shocker, Shocker is going to stay at last. And Battle Pet is in the middle with 160,000 coins. Now, what about Frozen Place? Frozen Place, after AFK for 10 minutes, was able to make 180,000 coins. Again, around half the money you're going to get is going to be coming from coins, all the other half is going to be coming from drops. So, with just pure Frozen Place, able to make 180,000 coins. So, Frozen Place is the best way if you already if you already had all of these armor sets. The best one you should use is Frozen Place. However, it is not far behind Bal. Bal Pet is still a good pet. So, what's my like analysis? What do I recommend you use? I recommend you use Battle Pet. Battle Pet is by far the best one for your money. It is the best. It works better than everyone else, like cost-wise. I know Unstable has like 120,000 coins, but still, Battle Pet is so, so good. And the nice thing is you can pair this up with any other, with any other armor set you like. So you can pair this up with Unstable armor if you want to kill more, or you can pair this up with Mercenary armor if you want to gain more coins. Either way, it is super, super good, and I definitely recommend you use it. It's also useful in other scenarios. It's good for every single version of AFK. If you want to AFK, odds are, first thing you want to try to do is with the Bow Pet. So I highly recommend having a Bow Pet. So I also did a test with a max out setup for killing. So I had Frozen Blaze and I had a Bow. With this max up setup, I was able to make 205,000 coins per hour. Obviously, this is more than 108,000 or 160,000, but it's not, like, astronomically more. So the point is, if you combine things together, at some point, you can't kill things fast enough. If you're instantly killing everything, there's no point in trying to kill things faster. It might actually make more, more money to equip a Hound Pet instead of a Battle Pet, and that might make you more profit. But I'll let you test out and play what you want to do, especially because Hound Pet and Mercenary Armor aren't terribly expensive. You only need an Epic Hound Pet. Legendary ones is nice, but you really only need an Epic Hound Pet and a level 100 Epic Hound Pet. There's actually no level 100 epic hound pets, but there's like level 64s, level like 60-ish, going for 1 million coins. So it's not too expensive, a mercenary armor costs you like 50k or something stupidly small. Either way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me.